Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm currently streaming on Twitch. So I'd appreciate if you could go over there and uh, drop me a follow because we're going to be covering loads of other decks and going over some tournaments, theory, all that good stuff. Um, it's regional season now starting uh, this week, so I'm going to be looking to uh, attend some regionals and give you guys some deck profiles of like what's what's happening, keep you guys up to date in the meta. So this weekend I went to two uh, OTS tournaments and I played Sky Striker. So this is pre. Uh, this Destiny, so we don't get Phoenix of Forza. Um, but I'm going to show a post Destiny version, a uh, post booster Destiny version, uh, straight after this um, on my Twitch. But I'm going to uh, upload it on YouTube the day after, so tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is the deck uh, I played for this weekend. I went 8 0, um, two first place finishes back to back uh, OTS tournaments. Um, so yeah, I like. I, I really enjoy playing the deck. This is one of those decks that I can't really put, seem to put away or put down. Um, but I feel like it's uh, st actually pretty strong. And like I just uh, went over on Twitch, I think the deck gets a lot better. Um, with the addition of Phoenix of Forza. But I also feel like a lot of decks get better. So it it's not like this deck gets direct support from the, from the deck or the engine. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go over the deck profile. So... Worked fine for me. Um, I'm pretty used to playing like this sort of list. So, yeah, but there's a few changes I would make that I, I'd like to mention throughout the video. So, stick around to the end if you want some more theory. But, like I always say with my um, deck profiles, if you want to take a screenshot, that's why I do it on Doing a Book. Take a screenshot, leave the video, that's absolutely fine. All I ask for in return is a uh, subscribe, a like, and for you to check out my socials and my Twitch. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get straight into the deck profile. So we start things off with the hand traps. Um, so we played nine. Um, in my opinion, these like hit rogue and they hit like tri brigade, dry tron. Um, so like, like even dragon link as well. So these hit like most of the meta, but because I'm playing like OCS tournaments, I do expect a lot of rogue. So I thought I'd play these generic ones: um, Imperium Ash, Vela. Honestly, they're all really solid. You can't really like fault them. Um, they do, the ratios do change a little bit. Um, oh, sorry, the hand traps do change post burst of Destiny, but I'll explain that in my video tomorrow. So, we also play Pank Shops because this is Go Second version. Um, he's just fantastic against Dragon Link. He literally outs the Dragon Link field on his, on his own. Um, he also is like good against the back row decks like Altergeist, etc. And even Salaman Great if you come across any. Um, yeah, really good cards. Like It's just a power card, I suppose, Go in Second. Um, I think the Sky Striker Ace lineup is quite standard um, for the monsters. So we play three Ray, two Rose. Uh, Rose is good, but I just feel like it's just a less good Ray. But the effects do certainly come up, um, especially when you've like you in a grand game, you put a bit of damage on your opponent. If you've got like Afterburner, break the board and then get a Rose online along with like a Ray, or like even like one of the Links, normal summon Ray, get a Rose, and then that's game, I suppose, because there's quite a bit of damage there. Um, spell lineup, so we play. Engage most all drones, and then for the field spell. So I normally play um, two of this, but I thought I'd play three because actually it's really good to um, just give you like a better grind. Like we play Mystic Mine as well, but that I'll get over why we play that in a minute. So I think having the field spell um, gives you like a really good grind. So I quite like playing three of this. Uh, Widow Anchor, you can't play less than three. <laughs> it's just too too good. Uh, shark cannon. I was messing around with three for a long, for the longest time, but um, I think two is correct because you can just like disrupt your opponent enough with the hand traps anyway. And then it's more for like link climbing. Oh, we don't play access codes, but I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, it's more for link climbing, but um, in like against Eldritch or even the mirror match or even Salaman Great, like those sort of mid range rogue decks, um, it's good. A big against Tri Brigade, it kind of sucks. Um, Dragons, they could do some stuff against dragons, but I feel like it's more of a link climbing and then some random disruption. I actually took a Dragoon off this on the weekend as well. Took took a guy's Dragoon, um, which is pretty good. Uh, Afterburner, um, we go in second, so I, I want two of these. Baked out like a Barrel of Savage, um, and it's just, a, it's just a two for one pop. It's like it's just really good. Uh, Jamming Waves, um, I see, I'm, I'm like hit and miss with this card. I feel like it's good. Uh, but only in like certain matchups, so I could probably like take it out or even side deck it going forward. But I feel like it's good to have in the main deck 
as it's searchable and so accessible with like Shizuku and Engage. So yeah, um, Mystic Mind. So I originally I was playing three of this, but I felt like there weren't too many decks that sort of um, it like stopped them. So like Tri Brigade, Prank Kids, they normally played like back row out like Cosmic. So yeah, I. I I wanted like one in the main deck, sorry, two in the main deck because in case I banished one off desires, it's still a win button against any decks that like it just lose, loses to. So, and it's good for like stalling. So, if you can get a Mystic Miner board, and your opponent has like three or four monsters and they keep summoning monsters, you can just summon an array, go Hiate, and just keep attacking them directly if you game and force them to make the links, uh, like link their board off basically. And that's just so much advantage they've just lost by doing that. So, yeah, it is a win button. Um, Terraform, we just search that and the field spell. Uh, Rotor, of course. Two Desire, so I normally play three, but I don't know, I tried two and it works, I suppose. Um, you don't always want to use this die, like, it might sound a bit stupid, but you don't always want to use it. So I normally like getting um, Engage, a multi roll, and at least one winner rank out of the deck before using this because banishing, like, at, like both of these or Especially like multi roll, I feel um, sucks. You you can technically play with that engage. The deck did that for months when engage was banned. So um, yeah, like banishing this just sucks. So I'd, I'd rather get this out of the deck first, and then obviously banishing all these suck as well. Even if you banish or you raise that, that would also suck. I think a couple of months ago I, I played this deck of locals without engage, and I banished all my rays and my roses, and I think I still won that match because like missed it mine, which is crazy, but. Um, yeah, that sucks if you banish stuff. But so you just gotta use it well, that's all. Um, upstart, of course, and then three droplets. Um, good going first, good going second. Just a solid, like, I'd say probably the best staple. Um, talents is also another good staple, but I feel like this is the most versatile staple right now. So, yeah, g g good card. Um, so, I main decked Harvey's Fellow Zester. Um, It was okay. I feel like I didn't get like any blowout blowout games off it, where I just dusted someone's board and just won. But in theory, it comes up because we go in second as well. So in theory, it does work. Um, and if you get like IO'd or like yeah, sorry, if you get imperial orders, you um kind of don't have any quick plays. So we're going to the side deck. Uh, but yeah, for the extra deck, play three Kagari, three Hayati. I just don't see how you play less than this. Um, I see some people playing two, but I just feel like you have to play three. It's just too good not to play. Um, especially in a grind game as well, you just need those more copies. Uh, Shizuku, one Kaina, one Zeke. Zeke's amazing. Zeke's so good. Um, so many times I've played Dino and August, and they give me a token, and I just linked it off. Like, normal summon Ray, link it off, Zeke, go Hiate, and then just carry on plays. If we had this card in, like, 2019, oh my god. The deck would have been stupid. But uh, yeah, um, Utility, Phoenix, Unicorn, Ningrisu, and Boral Sword. So I don't play Access Code because I sold mine. Um, like, the deck can literally just play without it. It doesn't even like make a difference, I suppose. I mean, obviously, Access Code is just like a free win button against most decks. And like, if you can link climb correctly, it, it is kind of, yeah, it is a free win button. But we had we had to do the, the hard we had to do it the hard way around this weekend. So uh yeah, I didn't play Access Code, but um if I had to win, I certainly would play it. Just play the Celine package. But I liked Phoenix because like if I get Imperial Audits, I can just um get like a ray out or um normal summon like one of my hand traps and just make a Phoenix. It's just a good option. Um and then for the side deck, uh Nibiru against like combo decks and Dragon Link, etc. Um Dark Ruler, which I was thinking of playing Kaiju's, but I thought Dark Ruler's good because you can just like negate the board and drop a mind on them. Um, so that's the theory behind that. And it obviously, like you can just break a board and then go after burners, etc. Like Dragoon, for example, you just negate him with this and just go after burner, pop him. Um, so I was going to play two lightning storms over these uh, over cosmics because um, I ordered some online, but for some reason they didn't come, um, so which sucks. But in theory, I actually would like a quick play spell trap guard removal because if we go like a spell guard, they activate Imperial Order, you can chain one of these. So with Lightning Storm, obviously, you can't. 
So it's quite important to actually play quick spell, quick play spell trap card removal. So uh, yeah, I might actually consider maybe not playing lightning storms and playing for like different decks, um, or play like three of them, um, two lightning storms, sorry, and like three of these. But or just take out this and play like two cosmics in the main, in case we get IO like main uh, ran uh, game one. So that's certainly an option. Uh, they can be. Um, I think this deck this card actually really good. Um, Post base of destiny because of a soul sword. They're all worms, so I think they can't summon a token. Um, so this this is quite a good card. Um, there's, a couple, there's a couple of other floodgates I like against um, uh, soul sword, like goes a match. I love goes a match against that deck because it's like they can't they can't like synchro climb. So yeah, that's a good card. And by I played they can be um, what did I play? I played uh, Cyber Dragon. Um, on my OTS tournament Friday, and I played Cyber Dragon on Saturday, and I just put this card against them, and he did, just didn't do much. I did normal summon like Core, I just flipped this, and they were like, oh, great. Uh, judgment, in case you get put first, um, or if you're to choose to go first. So, as this is a go second list, I just wanted to go second and blow my opponent out. Um, but yeah, so that's the theory behind the deck. So, really good deck, like, works really, really well for me. Um, I did a deck profile like of everything laid out on Instagram. So if you want to check out my Instagram uh, below, it like the whole deck laid out in front of you, like IRL is uh, right there. And I did explain my matchup, so I showed my matchup as well. And yeah, so this is it for the pre versus Destiny deck profile. Um, I went 8 0, back to back wins at OTS tournament. So really happy with the, how the deck worked out. Whether I play it again for, like, properly at like regionals, we'll see. But um, yeah, it worked fine. So appreciate everyone that's been supporting the last few weeks. And if you guys want to see more deck profiles, subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.